All right, Chris, thanks for the update. All new at five. I'm sure you've noticed at the grocery store, the cost of food, it is really up right now. Anywhere from five to 10%. Food pantries that serve those in need are also struggling with that. One Upstate Pantry getting their own help thanks to a donation from the Sisters of Charity. Our Amber Worthy has the story for us. Yes, yeah, story. So on top of the pandemic, Seneca is still bouncing back from the tornadoes last year that displaced a thousand people and killed a neighbor. So this money is definitely helping people, especially as we are seeing the prices of groceries going up and up. Cart after cart, full of everything you need to fill your fridge. The Golden Corner Food Pantry is helping those in Oconee County who are dealing with food insecurity. Very helpful, very much helpful. In hard times it is today, it's been very much helpful. So it does help a lot each month. Helene and Dorothy both dropping by the pantry and saying it's a saving grace for their household. People need to give to them to help people who need the help. And it's all over around the world that people need the help. But mostly here in South Carolina, where I live, and the way the population is growing here in Seneca, it really needs a lot. It really needs a lot. And um, all we'll do is stretch those food dollars even further. Most of our clients tell us that they love the food pantry. You know, we've been so terrific to them when they needed us. Um, but over and over and over again, they say, you help me make ends meet. Mike Harlan volunteers and serves on the pantry's board, reminding the community that they are here and ready to help. You'll be met with a smile and enough food to make sure you never go hungry. So they, they can get through like three weeks, but can't quit through the last week, or if anything changes, any bump in the road, um, you know, they're not ready for that, and the food pantry helps to, uh, to meet that need. So. So qualified applicants who live in Oconee County need to meet federal poverty guidelines. Stop by and see them. Their policy is if you don't have all the necessary paperwork, you won't leave empty handed. Tori.